Let's look at these three addition problems. Starting with the one on the left, 88 plus 3. Now we have several different methods we can use to solve these problems. In this case, I'm going to use the counting on method. I'm going to start with 88, and I know I need to add three numbers. So the third number here will be my correct answer. The number after 88 is 89, then 90, then 91. So 88 plus 1, 2, 3 is equal to 91. Let's move on to the next one, 74 plus 7. Here I'll use a different strategy. I'm going to draw tens rods and ones to represent the number 74. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And I have 71, 72, 73, 74. So I need to start with 74 and add 7 more. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now as you can see, I have a lot of 1's here. So what I'm going to do with those 1's is I'm actually going to take 10 of them and form another 10 rod. So when I count to 10 1's, I get right there. And I'm going to replace these 10 with a 10 rod, because 10 ones is equal to one of these tens rods. Now, as you can see, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and one more. 80 plus 1 is 81. 74 plus 7 is 81. The last problem I have is 18 plus 6. When the numbers are smaller like this, all I have to do is maybe I'll just draw 18 stars. There are 18 stars, and I'm adding in 6 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, how many do I have all together? Well, to find that out, all I have to do is count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 18 plus 6 is 24. These are three different ways to add numbers together. You could count on, like we did in the first example, use manipulatives like tens rods, or you can draw a picture. 